Hello everyone, my name is Amit and I am going to talk about Formal Open Scap Plugin in this video. This video contains basic concepts for Formal Open Scap, introduction to Formal Open Scap and its features and walkthrough. There are three basic concepts, Scap contains, compliance policies and ARF report. Scap contains, it's a data stream file and defined by Scap 1.2 standard. It has implementation of compliance, configuration and security baseline. Users are advised to have exemplary baseline by installing SCAP security guide package or user can also download the SCAP content from GitHub. Compliance policies are combination of SCAP content, XCDF profile from particular SCAP content, then user can even have host group and then apply that SCAP policy for multiple systems of that hosting. Compliance policy supports schedule. User can have chronic schedule and there are predefined options like weekly and monthly schedule. The next is ARF reports. So once system completes the scan, it sends back report report to Formal and Formal saves that report in database. So one single report has one entry in the database and then Foreman can further process that report for multiple actions. Foreman OpenStack enables automated vulnerability assessment, compliance and audit of Foreman based infrastructure. This means that you need to have Foreman and on the top of that you are going to enable this plugin. There are multiple features available. Centralized policy management. This means that Foreman can act as a repository for policies and the SCAP content. Then you can have host group and group the systems in host group and apply specific compliance policy to that host group. You can schedule periodical audits. Then there are multiple search options for audited systems, non-audited systems, compliant and non-compliant systems. The next is walkthrough. I am having four men installed and one client installed which is already configured to report back to Foreman with SCAP content and SCAP policy. Once you install the Foreman Open SCAP plugin, you get these extra web pages on Foreman web control, policies, SCAP content, reports and tailoring files. We start with SCAP contents. As you can see there are few SCAP contents are already created. If you want to create new one, then you click here to upload new SCAP content button. Choose a file and upload it. You can select different locations, organizations. By default, it has current location and organization selected. I was already having SCAP content downloaded. If you want to download it from GitHub, then this is the site for that. GitHub.com, Compliance Report, and Content Repository. So it has multiple operating systems. SCAP content defined in data stream and XCDF format. You can download as per your requirement. The next is policy. To define your policy, go to new compliance policy button. The first option is how you want to deploy the SCAP content to the host. There are multiple options Ansible, Puppet, and Manual. I have selected Puppet as the default because I am having Puppet configured for my client and for my. You need to name the policy, it can be anything. The next is you need to select the SCAP content. You can either select the default SCAP content, which is created by Foreman after installing SCAP security guide, or you can select your own. 
XCCDF profile is enabled. Uh, XCCDF profile is important. I strongly recommend to go through each and every profile and check what is suitable for your system and environment and as per that make a decision to select specific XCCD profile. For demo purpose, I am having the default XCCD profile selected as B. The next is tailoring file. I am skipping that option because it has some advanced features. Next is Schedule. As you can see, there, there is weekly, monthly and custom. If you select the custom option, then you can specify the schedule as per call format. Selecting weekly schedule, for example. You can select location and organization as per your requirement. If you have any systems grouped by which group, then you can select it or you can just skip it. So you can see test 1 to 3 policy has been created. Now I will apply this policy to my host. You need to go to all host page, select the system. And then you have option assign compliance policy. Here select the policy which you want to apply and click on submit button. So once you apply the compliance policy, it will update the puppet classes and as per that host we get new compliance policy content from puppet and once it will run the scan, it will report back to Foreman with the new change report. So I am not waiting for the report and I am going to show you existing reports. So I am going back to the reports page. So here you can see multiple reports are already present and it has overview of for this system it was reported the time, the policy name, the proxy name and the number of pass failed for that specific run. I forgot to mention about one important thing. So once you again go back to all host and select the host system and click on the compliance button here, you get a nice dashboard about uh, how many how many rules were passed, how many rules were failed as per the compliance policy and as per your cap date. You can click on this and you will get more information about it. It has the result, message and the resource. The resource is the SCAP rule and you also get the severity and action. So there are multiple ways to solve this report. Like if you click on this post failing this rule, so it will display all the systems which are failing this rule. So I am just having one system, so that's why you can't see anything else here. I am going back to reports page. Here you have option for full report. As it takes time to open the full report, I am already having full report open in another tab. The full report has system facts and its hosting, then IP address, who performed the report, the start and finish time. Then you get scoring, com compliance scoring, and it has how many rules were passed, how many rules were failed. It has nice representation of severity of failed rule. From this page, you can filter by specific rules. Like if you just want to see the pass rule, then you can and select all of these. And you get only that specific information. Very similar to that, you can check for the failed failed rules. If you click on any specific failed rule, suppose this one, and if it has remedy, 
then you get the remediation shell script and ansible snippet also this means that you can use this shell script or this specific ansible snippet to fix this issue and make your system compliant to this rule that's it for this demo thanks a lot for watching